Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the St. Bonaventure Bonnie's Rebuild Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10. And today, guys, it's the big game, the one we've all been waiting for, as we take on the Virginia Cavaliers. So welcome, everybody, into John Paul Jones Arena here in Charlottesville, Virginia, as our St. Bonaventure Bonnie's coming in at 5-5, five and five, looking for a big-time road ACC win as we take on the Virginia Cavaliers. Taking a look at the starting lineups, Pierce Cage, James Wallace, Tymon Allison, Gerald Snow, and Bob Darnell. The standard five getting the nod today against Ray Mills, Gary Jackson, Terry Ayers, Chris Carson, and Anthony Fisher of Virginia. Let's take a look at the keys of the game. The take and make three ball is going to be the, the great equalizer in today's game, as well as getting up more shots than Virginia. Without further ado, guys, let's get underway here in some big time road ACC action. So St. Bonaventure wins the tip, and we're underway here from Charlottesville. So we'll start this off into the hands of our elite scorer, Darnell. Move it back over to Snow, now to Cage. We want to be able to get down inside. We have a very distinct height advantage in this ballgame. As we go down low to time on Allison for the easy hook shot. Easy 2-0 lead for St. Bonaventure. Later in the start of this first half, we get an easy left-handed layup by Mason as he carves him up. St. Bonaventure would go on a pretty easy run here to start this game against Virginia as Mason loads up a three ball. Can't get it to go. The kick out to Darnell. Ring it up. That's three. A 7-0 start for the Bonnies. Virginia coming down the other way. Trying to get to the baseline. They'll put up a shot. Fouled and won as the Cavaliers finally get on the scoreboard. Gerald Snow would pick up his first personal. Later action, it's a 9-7 lead, but not for long as Darnell makes it a five-point game again as the most standard start for him. Six points and two for three from three. The Cavaliers would not go quietly, however. They would answer with a quick two of their own. Play some better defense down the stretch in this first half as this layup is off. Darnell will run, spin in the lane, left-handed layup is falling and good, back to a five-point lead. Grant Spencer would have it on the top of the key. Darnell trying to orchestrate, he would do a lot for us this game, tally a total of 35 before the final horn would go off. It's a 16-11 to ball game as Allison tries to work, trying to create space. Kick out, back to Mason, now back down again to Allison for the easy deuce. As we swing things back over to Virginia, they're trying to answer a seven-point deficit right now. They throw it down low, an easy two points for Virginia. Like I said, they would make things a lot more interesting down low when we thought we had the distinct advantage. And this zone defense gave us a lot of problems. Cage, however, would attack, lose the ball. Virginia would come back on the break, throw it up court. Let's look for the corner ball screen. They'll get it. They give this one off. Trying to go one-on-one -on, -one on Grant Spencer. Virginia pulls it back, attacks the lane, easy two again, it's only a three point lead. Pierce Cage walks it up court here, finds an open man, Darnell, you can't do that, you can't leave him alone, and St. Bonaventure hits another three. As Cage gets a defender in the air, Darnell, spin move, pulls it anyway, and he was feeling it, a torrid start for Darnell, as he's got 15 of the 29 for the Bonnies on 50% shooting. Cavaliers, though, would play a much better team game than St. Bonaventure. It's an 8 run currently as they swing it to the top of the arc, and it's a three-ball, nine-point game with 5.08 to go here in the first half. Virginia currently working on a seven-point deficit. We get the jump shot off in the lane. Would not fall, however. Rebound by Allison. Cage would just blaze up the court. Look for an easy kickout option, and Darnell is feeling it, so why not let it go? As it's an easy deep three again. A 35-24 advantage with 3.18 to go in the half. The high post jumper is good by the Cavaliers, and they would make things once again tight down the stretch in the first half. As Darnell able to attack again with just under three minutes to play, the Bonnies would lead by as many as, I believe, 15 in this one. As Virginia tries to attack, they go down low, get fouled, and one, count the basket. Virginia, however, would make the free throw. It's an eight-point game. 
Going back down outside. The baseline jump shot is good. 37-31 with a minute and a half to go. With just a minute to go. The deep three balls off the mark. Nobody's there to clean up the rebound. So an easy dunk that time by Jackson. Both teams would shoot near 50% here in that first half as Snow tries to get the power lane. It won't go. St. Bonaventure's been not, not exactly great at the end of halves this season as they try to contain him in a 2-3 zone. Flyby doesn't work. Going down low again. Fadeaway jump shot is good. 37-35. We would hold a three-point lead going into the halftime. Break the score. 40-37. St. Bonaventure over the ACC Faux Cavaliers. Bob Darnell led the team in scoring in that first half, and he'll have to do it again here in the second. As we take a look at the halftime stats, each team shooting roughly the same amount of percentage. The big discrepancy here, though, the 36% for three for the Bonnies and the 17% for Virginia. So we take a look at our keys to the game and see how they have turned up. Virginia able to force a lot of turnovers. That's helped them to get some points off of turnover. It's Virginia. They start this half with the ball. Virginia coming down on their opening uh, possession here. Excuse me, their second possession. They would get the bucket and hold a three-point advantage until guess who? Darnell pulls it from the corner. Can't get it to go. But time on Allison. His big man says, I've got your back and the putback. 42-43. Darnell coming the other way. A quick upcourt pass to Gerald Snow would be good. That would give the Bonnies a one-point advantage. Working things back with 9-0-2 to go. It's a 55-55 ball game as Snow the jump hook. It's off. Darnell, the ever-active small forward, gets the missed shot and lays it in. However, Virginia would come out to a very quick start here in the second half midway through. This was their big run that they made. For the end of the game as Allison able to kick it back out. Darnell refeeds Allison and rewards the big man with two more as we're knotted back up at 61 with seven minutes to play. Virginia would come down. 7.05. Trying to work this ball across to the left-hand side of the arc. Get the quick pop-up screen. Don't go to it. Surprisingly, that was there a lot in this game, but they didn't want it. Going down low against Allison. This one rims out, and here come the Bonnies. Mason trying to attack. Throws this one to the corner. To Wallace. Wallace pulls it and hits it. It's a three-point lead for St. Bonaventure. 64-61 with 6.40 to go now. Virginia needing an answer. They go down low. Get the easy lay-in. It's a one-point lead for the Bonnies. Things tightening up here with six and a half to go. They feed it down low. Spencer, the quick turnaround jump shot. He would only score four points in this game, but two of them coming in the clutch time, crunch time, with 6.19 to go. However, neither team playing much defense in this half as both teams would score roughly 60. This one's kicked out to Darnell. They're trying to repose, throwing it inside. Spencer gets the lay-in, and it's back to a three-point lead. We jump now to just under four minutes of action left. It's 76-74. St. Bonaventure leads by two. Really trying to get this high pick and roll screen. Going down the lane. Two points for Virginia. And we're tied back up at 76. Pierce Cage orchestrating the offense here. Couldn't get it to go as we jump now to 207. Virginia would start to put the clamps on here with this zone press. Throwing it up court to Snow. And he's called for the backcourt violation. So that would give the ball back to Virginia. And they would just turn it on after that. It would end up being a 101-93 victory for the Cavaliers. But you got to like what you saw today from St. Bonaventure. They were, came in and were able to compete at a high level against one of the best teams in the ACC. With Once again, the final score, the Cavaliers 101, the St. Bonaventure Bonnies 93. So you take a look at the players of the game. Darnell with his 35-5, Gary Jackson with his 30-8. As we take a look at the box score, 19-4-3-1, and 35-5-5, and, and then 10-1-2 and two for Wallace, Darnell, and Allison, with Mason giving us 14-4-2 off the bench. With our last bit of gameplay here, guys, we'll go ahead and show you the USF simulation. So we currently sit at 5-6 after that loss to Virginia. We would get things going underway here with the South Florida Bulls, a team we really shouldn't be able to beat. 
As you see here, we're able to jump out to an early lead, not shooting particularly well from three, which we know is going to be the kryptonite of this team. We can't hit the three ball. We're not going to be in a lot of games in this non-conference season. But South Florida able to pull it out in the end. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of the St. Bonaventure Bonnies Rebuild Dynasty. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.